welcome to Module 7. I'm Ines Urdaneta, physicist and research scientist at RSF, and I will be your host in this module called New Advances in Unified Physics. Since RSF first launched its delegate course in 2014, there has been many advances in both Hanover-Mainz generalized holographic theory and unified physics, and on the observations and developments of the scientific community around the globe, which could only be explained in the frame of our unified view. This is why we have created this model, which will be available on our online Unified Science course for free. As we recall, the generalized holographic model is a new approach to quantum gravity, which is based only on geometrical considerations, which are deeply related to thermodynamics, black hole entropy, and information theory. It therefore does not utilize the standard formalism of quantum mechanics and general relativity to achieve its goals. Interestingly and non-trivially, it is able to achieve a quantum solution for the mass of a black hole, and the solution can be extended to the nucleotic scale where we have found the mass of the proton and the electron. During these past years, RSF's research has developed further, publishing three important works in peer-reviewed journals. The electron mass was derived from first principles. The work of the vacuum catastrophe has also been published. And the third work is the space memory network from cosmogenesis to consciousness. So welcome to module seven. Read it carefully. It is also a training, a preparation for what's coming next soon. Module eight, the universal scalar law. Well, we will see how the generalized holographic model and its surface to volume ratio can scale from the Planck scale and below up to the universe and beyond. So see you on the other side of the event horizon.